Do we have to bear again? Is their last shot. 15 20. Fangioni tried for the winner. He was five points ahead. He thought he could get one out. He thought he had the shot, but his best shot is in front of Lou. At that time, he was behind him. Unbelievable power by Spataro. Unbelievable power by Spataro. Benji has a question mark over his head. He just sets the ball up in play. He's gonna hope for the best. Bounces, two bounces, Jesus. Some of the fans thought it was one bounce. You know who they're betting on. <laughs> Hit that ball. Pound it. Hit it. Don't lower it. Hit it. This is the time where Benji Louie gets into trouble. With the fourth and fifth and sixth volley. There you go. Benji, the first time in three games, tries to end the volley with a kill shot. He doesn't have the shot. Why would he go for the shot now? Once it goes to the sixth volley, they go crazy. They got to try and end it for some reason. Can they get him out again? I don't think Frangioni's gonna let two serves go by without that point. He just isn't the type. He steps on the court a little faster than usual. He gives Louis the shot, and that's his move. Nice play. That was beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Frangioni, seven out of seven kills to make the play. Unbelievable. What a great fucking game. Absolutely the best match down here ever. Everybody was great, but it was Frangioni, the court general, who made seven out of seven kill shots to make the difference in the game. Beautiful. Hey, Ruby, come down. Give play Ruby. I'll take my time. It was a great match, wasn't it? We're going to be back over here in a minute, Albert. So even in a second, I'll direct the motor. Eddie, the court general, you made seven out of seven key points. Unbelievable. The best match. Eddie, don't run away, Thank you. Oh, I know it's not easy. That's uh. They were both right. He was out, but he didn't call it the whole time. And all of a sudden, he decides to call it. There should have been several avoidables called. I agree. Okay. 
it hurts when there's none called, and then all of a sudden, you know, even if the call is right, it's like a guy never calling a football. But all of a sudden, it's 20 up, it's a football, you're out. We, we had a chance for it. It would have been a curse. <laughs> had Danny Clickstein write it up on the magazine. <laughs> But I don't know how much he lost. Yeah. Well, he shouldn't have played this game. You know, a stupid game for him to play when he can't afford the money. Look how close he came. He could have won, you know? Yeah, but that's just the point. He, it, was, it was a flip of a coin. He knew it from the beginning. Why should he bet $200? He might as well bet $200 on a flip of a coin. I don't, if Mars would make that call, I think they would have won. Yeah, we got the cramps on the table. What? Oh, isn't that a classic? Yeah, I got that, Richie. I didn't hear them make any speech after that game. Yes, I got it in my pocket. Step back to the green line. Fan it, Rich. Hey, Rich! Hey, Rich! Hey, Rich! Hey, Rich! Hey, Rich! What do you say about that, Albert? Guys, take your time to get a Wait a minute, I'll hold the camera, you give him an answer. And listen, we don't want to give you a spot, but we don't want to embarrass you, so we'll play you straight up. Cheers. Cheers. There it is. Come on, Alan, came and swept the goal. Come on, Alan, came and swept the goal. Look who's got it. Say goodbye.
Yeah, I hope it's him anymore.